In this video, before we make any further edits to our Hello World PSD, we're going to take a look at some old and new features of CS4. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Hello World 2 document. And one of the tools I will be using quite frequent quite quite frequently is the zoom tool which is now also in the application bar up at the top, new to CS4. A quick way of reaching the Zoom tool is to press the Z on your keyboard. Now the Zoom tool is very simple. Basically you use it to zoom in to your images. So if you click once, it's going to zoom in. If you keep clicking, it's going to zoom in. If you press Alt or Option as you click, you can see the cursor changes from a magnifying glass with a plus to one with a minus and we zoom out. Now in previous versions of Photoshop, you notice down here at the bottom, and this is every single version up until CS4, my magnification is now currently set to 33.33. Now in every version, as I said, up till CS4, this would sort of display the images in kind of a less than perfect manner. It was kind of frustrating. Basically Photoshop would only display your images crisply at a magnification of 25, 50, or 100 percent. Thankfully this has been changed in CS4 and now images display properly at every magnification. Not only that, but there's a new feature with the zoom tool. If you click and hold, it will gradually zoom in. Same thing with the Alt or Option key. If you click and hold that, it's going to gradually zoom out. And it's going to display properly and smoothly at each magnification. Now, there is one thing that I should warn you of. You basically need to, if, if you're not seeing this yourself, so if you're clicking and holding and nothing is happening as you try to zoom in and out smoothly like I've been showing you right now, if nothing is happening, chances are one of two reasons. The first of which, you need to go under Edit and down to Preferences, then Performance. And by the way, anytime you can press Control or Command K and bring up the Preferences dialog. So pretty much from now on, I'm basically going to bring, be bringing up Preferences by hitting Control or Command K also a keyboard shortcut that you'll really get to know. So what we want to look at is performance. And right over here to the right, it says GPU settings. This is all about your graphics card. And if the enable OpenGL drawing is not checked, then you're not going to see these new zoom features because in Photoshop CS4, it now takes advantage of your graphics card a lot more than any other version of Photoshop. So you have to make sure that that is checked. And then if it wasn't checked and you just checked it, you'll probably have to restart Photoshop. Now, if it's still not working, then chances are you need to basically update your graphics card driver. And Adobe has lots of documentation on how it can go about doing that. But once you either A, click on the OpenGL option in the preferences to set that up, or B, update your driver and get this to work, there are a few other cool new improvements to Photoshop, which we'll look at now. Although the most important is now basically this ability to view your images smoothly at any magnification. So you can see now I'm at 81.6% and everything is still nice and crisp and smooth. Now, obviously, the larger you go, it's going to start getting pixelated, and that's just due to the resolution. But another cool option, you can see if I go really, if I zoom way up there, all of a sudden I get this grid here. This is actually a pixel grid showing me a grid of the individual pixels. Pretty cool. So I'm going to hold Alt Option. Just going to zoom out. So we'll get to a nice size. 
And let's look at the another new tool to Photoshop, the Rotate View tool. Now, once again, to use this, you actually have to have OpenGL selected. And as, as I said, if that doesn't work, you're going to probably need to update your video card drivers. So bundled in with the hand tool now, new to CS4 is the Rotate View tool. You notice inside the canvas, you've got a hand that has a little rotate arrow. And if you click anywhere, you can now rotate the canvas. But the cool thing is, is you can leave it rotated. So you might wonder, why would I want my canvas at a funky angle like this? Well, I thought that myself when I very first opened this up and was playing around with it. But then I thought when it comes to retouching and or see photo painting, it really is just absolutely genius because I'm right handed and I find, say I was retouching along this line here, it's a lot easier for me to start at the bottom and work my way around like this. But it's harder for me to retouch along any kind of straight line along the top edge. I don't know why that is. That might just be my own thing. But now I can take the, can the rotate canvas tool and just rotate it so that I can work on the other side the same way that I worked on this side. So as far as retouching, I think that's going to be tremendously useful. And if you hold shift, it'll basically rotate in 15 degree increments. You can also change the rotation angle up here in the tool options. Kind of an, another interesting feature, let me just rotate this at some odd angle. Press Z for the zoom tool. I'm just going to press Alt and zoom out here so you can see the entire thing. If I were to drag out a guide by holding the or selecting the move tool and making sure that the rulers are visible, if they're not, you can go up to this handy little button up here, show rulers. By to basically drag out a guide, you select the move tool, click inside any of the left ruler or top ruler and just drag out. But notice, as I drag out a ruler from the side, it automatically matches the rotation of my canvas. Pretty interesting. So I'm just going to rotate this back so that it's at its normal state. And now let's look at the hand tool, which is something that up until CS4, you never really thought too much about. Let me zoom in real quick. Generally, the hand tool, you didn't even really need to select it, and you still don't. When you're using any tool, simply by pressing and holding the space bar, it temporarily converts to the hand tool. Now, the hand tool was mainly used so that when your magnification was such that a lot of it, your image was outside the screen, the hand tool basically lets you move the screen around. And as I said, I could be using the crop tool and if I press the hand tool, if I press the space bar I should say, then it'll temporarily change the hand tool. I can click and drag the screen wherever I want. Same with the move tool. Now another new feature of Photoshop CS4 with the hand tool, not only can we click and drag our image around, but now we can flick the image. So I'm going to grab this left side here and I'm going to click and drag it over to the right, but I'm going to let go. So rather than dragging it like this, I'm going to click and sort of fling it over to the other side. So as you can see, I'm basically flicking the image. Now this is pretty cool if you need to get over to the other side in a hurry. And once again, this is another feature that takes advantage of your graphics card. So you're going to need to set that up in preferences, which we now know is control K, command K on a Mac, which will bring up your preferences. Go up to performance, make sure your GPU settings are set to enable OpenGL drawing. 